What's up, YouTube? What's up, OUE fans? I am back with some more news. Um, uh, we're talking wrestling news, and we ain't talking about the Ring of Honor massive layoff. I should have. Um, I was actually waiting for a little bit more information out there, which is waiting. It's just it, it, basically because. It's still, it got to be some other stuff that's going to happen with that. When it all happens, I'll talk about it a little bit more then. Um, not talking about the MLW people, but getting released. But it is some free agents that are about to come. Wrestling has seen a big boom as of late. Some people are missing out. Some other companies are missing out, and some other companies are taking it to the next level. Um, I think I mentioned before on one, on one of my videos how Jonah Gargano's for WWE NXT, his contract is set to be expired. Well, I have two additional people. One on me from WWE NXT, the other one is from New Japan. And we're going to jump right into it. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and share. Sure, I really, really appreciate if y'all share my video. That's how I grow. That's how we grow as a community and all that good stuff. Um, first up, Kyle O'Reilly. They've seen a report that goes on Wrestling Inc. and some other places that Kyle O'Reilly contract is set to expire in December. Um, I wonder is it December the 7th, like John Gagano's contract? Cause I think his his is set to expire on December seventh, and I wonder why these dudes just decided not to like sign or like, or was it like, like, cause it, it had to be a thing, right? You, if you look at this, like, they they they, they bossed the thing with with Adam Cole. Now Pete Dunne he be signed back. That's I guess. A good thing for them. Maybe Pete Nunn just said he he. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Um. Hey, yeah, I really don't know because he because I would have to think that Pete Dunn is somewhat. No, I take it back. He probably looked at himself and said, "Is he a better? Is he a bigger star than Adam Cole?" I think not. We've seen Adam Cole. We want. Oh, I think a lot of people would have liked to see how he would have done on the main roster, but at the same time, they queased a little bit because it's a WWE. Um, same thing with Kyle O'Reilly. Uh, I don't know if people think that Kyle O'Reilly is a superstar like that. He's kind of older. Um, I think Kyle, mm, especially the only person that left in the WWE now is him and Roger Strong. Both the other guys went on to AEW. Um, I get to that in a second, but mm, I think because for a while you could say Kyle O'Reilly, John Gargano was a big part of NXT. Now they are shipping down to everybody else, and they look like they be, might be back on the a better path, I would say. But I don't know. And then the other person who contract is set to expire, not Tom Lawler. His, even though I just threw it in there, his contract did expire. He didn't get released like some of the other wrestlers from MLW. I wonder how that's gonna work. Now, if Jacob Fatu get released from MLW, which I don't think that he is. Now, I don't know how the hell they let go Tom Lawl. I thought he was a big, a big fish in their pond. I don't want to call it little or big. I watch it. I like MLW, but I think they also are signing people as well. So, yeah. but the other person who is set to aspire, I think they're set to aspire in January. It juice, the juice is is possibly maybe loose from New Japan, and he is said by multiple reports that I've read, seen, or read on websites I like Wrestling and maybe. Ringside news. I, uh, I want to make sure I put them publications out there. That I'm, I'm, I'm basically just taking this stuff. <laughs> um, that he is, except for the WWE, because if you know his history, he hated the WWE. He spent the time in NXT, didn't like it, didn't want to do it. But he is expected to have multiple suitors. Of course, New Japan will be want to bring him back. Um, 
him and his tag team partner David Finley have been doing having a stint in Impact Wrestling. Hell, they were even the tag team title, tag team champions at one point. Um, of course, AEW. I will have, but in that why I say I say AEW again. Um, Ring of Honor is kind of off. He actually said in an interview that he would like to go back to Ring of Honor because of. It was a point where he, him, he kind of like started a faction in Ring on it, then it just disappeared. So I guess he would want to go back to kind of like rectify that. At this point, you with the whole thing with Ring of Honor, I would doubt that would happen. But yeah, I, I, I feel sure that won't, won't happen. Even though they, at least until they probably come back with like, cause they 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 not shut down, but. They kind of are in the in between, I guess you could say. I don't, I don't really know how to, to categorize it, but I, I, because I, I know the answer. If I ask people in the comment section, everybody would say, "Oh, I want him to go. Want them to go to AEW." Well, here's the thing, like I, like I get it. AEW, AEW is popping, but at some point they're gonna start. Hey, they're going to start having too many wrestlers just like the WWE did. And people don't, people ain't really watching Rampage like that. I get it. It should come on at 10 o'clock at night. 10 o'clock. Yeah, 10 o'clock at night on Friday. Most people are out, out, out and about on the town watching them going to the movies, going to the club, doing all that. So I don't really know who just sitting at home watching wrestling like that. Um, so you see the dramatic drop off from their ratings on Wednesday compared to Fridays, and then it comes after SmackDown. So I don't really know if I don't really, I don't really think that. But at the same time, with Impact not doing live show, they'll be a good thing for them. But Impact, if Impact did more live shows, and right now I understand that they probably won't do live shows. I don't really know why they don't do live show. They had started doing it a little bit, but I would say if they could pick up Kyler right, he would be a good he would be a good hand. <laughs> that's a good that's a bad word. Somebody used that as a as a bad term. He'll be a good a good pickup for Impact Wrestling. I also think that Juice Robinson would be a good good pickup. He's not already been there in the building. He been he know the wrestlers. Um I can only say WWE for Kyle O'Reilly, he could be signed back. He could go to AEW. He can go to Impact Wrestling. He could go to MLW. Um, those are major companies, I guess. For me, those are major companies. I say they're major companies because they have a TV channel. If GCW had a TV channel, I would say they was a major company. But they're not. They're an indie company. And so, it... Yeah, I, but at the same time, I do think that I probably would say it's a better fit for Kyle Riley to go to AEW. Juice Robinson, because he's already been in Impact Wrestling, he could he could just slide right on in. It won't be a problem. And I think his tag team partner contract is coming up some point as well, so they can I just go back there if they wanted to. But I think his tag team partner David Finley wants. To, he said something about going to the WWE, so he can learn from his tag team partner. If, if from what I'm hearing, but y'all let me know down in the comment section below. I'm asking the question, Kyle O'Reilly. All the damn phrases. Let me know where you think they should go. Like some of the big names. I just said Tom Latimer. He can't go to the WWE because he's 30 some years old. Don't don't forget that. Uh, Juice Robinson, I think Juice is mid twenties, maybe. Uh, but he, you gotta take into account he don't like the WWE like that. Kyle O'Reilly, shit, Jonathan Gresham, all these all these friends. Let me know down in the comments comments below. See y'all in the next video. I got a lot of news. I got a lot of stuff to talk about. I got a lot of stuff on my mind. I want my head hurting right now. I see y'all in the next video. Peace out.